why uh, why am I talking so much about drinking your water and shit like that? I, I was in school, I was probably 7th grade or less, I don't know, I don't remember. N no one told me then to drink my water from my grandparents. I was just drinking water like a regular kid, like uh, if I want to drink water, drink water and shit like that. So there was one day uh, I decided... I don't know what was going on exactly through the day, but I was eating, uh, obviously I was not drinking enough water. So at the end of the day, I was feeling sick. By the way, I was not feeling dry or anything like that, I was just feeling sick. And I threw up every everything that I, have, I, I had in my stomach, everything I, that I had, I just threw it. Uh, after that, I felt better, I decided to eat again, I threw it. Um, uh, my my grandparents started to worry that we were on, on our way to the hospital on my way to the hospital I threw up again nothing like water something like that uh, in front of the hospital I threw up a blue liquid stomach liquid yeah the story is I went to the hospital I was sitting in the hospital basically five days. I was feeling okay after the first day. I, I wanted to prove to the doctors that I, that I am a fighting champion. I am, I'm okay. Uh, but the diagnosis was that I was dehydrated. I was, I was feeling so sick only because of the fact that I am dehydrated, guys. So water happened to be very important uh, from then on. My grandparents are uh, warning me about the water every now and then. Uh, I'm telling my viewers to drink their water and everything, everything is like that. Just because water is important, guys. If you get dehydrated, shit can go bad. Like, every one of you have heard that you can survive without food for a week. But you cannot survive without water for a day or two. So keep that in mind. Uh, but the thing is, uh, lately, I, I, I feel that I cannot get to that stage because uh, I developed something like a survivor instinct where if I don't drink enough water for several hours, I start to have a headache. And yeah, if I, if I drink some water, the headache goes away. Are you fucking kidding me? Am I... I'm the unluckiest guy in the world. Okay, that's that's okay. So drink your water, guys. Do you hear me? Because if you don't hear me now, you're gonna hear me later laughing at you. That's a friendly neighborhood advice from Metal Tracer. Metal Tracer. I like the ring of it. Metal Tracer. So we're repairing that generator. We're playing uh, skill check by daylight here. Uh, nothing, nothing fancy. I'm having a lot of points, by the way, a lot of points. I'm planning when I get to rank one as a survivor to go to the killer section and dominate there as well, like kill some asses and stuff like that. Like show these people how it's done. Like dominate everything. Everything. Who is your favorite killer? That's a really hard question. I actually never played any killer, like seriously, more than two games. My favorite killer... I'm gonna repair that gen That, that... I'm gonna wait for him to go away a little bit, just, just because I don't want him to die. Oh, oh, popping jennies, popping jennies like that. Uh, my my favorite killer must be the invisible guy, the Wraith, or Myers. I don't know. I don't know any other killers. To be honest, I'm not a killer guy. I know, Maggie, that you played a lot of killers. And you, you can actually say who is your favorite killer and stuff like that, but I, I really can't. I really can't say who is my favorite killer because um, I have like 20 killer games total. Like, total with all of the killers. Oh, no, 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 no. My favorite killer is the Huntress. That's my favorite killer. 
hands down. That's my favorite killer. Uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm really good with uh, op in CS:GO, so Huntress, I I really relate to that character. <laughs> I, I just take the axes and from the other, uh, from the one side of the map to the other axe and just snipe someone. Uh, he's crying afterwards, uh, reporting me that I have wall hack and shit. But I tell to the kid, uh, I I just have skill, bro. That's all I have, skill. Yeah, it's in my veins. Like, uh, you can cry more. You can report me, you can do everything, but I just have skill. For some fucking reason, one day I want to throw axes. Like, do you, you know where uh, the, the places where you get one axe and you just throw it like that to a, to a target? I just want to try that one day. Uh, I don't know if uh, there is a place for that in Bulgaria, but... Uh, I'm gonna go around the world one day, so I, I'll, I'll do it. Doesn't matter if it's in Bulgaria or not. Uh, that's I I believe that the killer doesn't know what is going on. Killer, the killer picked Hillbilly. No, do you know what? I really enjoy Hillbilly, but the problem with Hillbilly is that he's extremely hard. If you're not using your chainsaw you're doomed uh, there is no point in that character if you're not using the chainsaw and uh, the the control of the chainsaw is really hard uh, at least with my mouse with my old ass mouse uh, so yeah that's it I really enjoy the hillbilly but I just can't play it but that's why I love the Huntress, because it's easy character, I can play her, I'm having tons of fun with her. Where are the exit doors? He's not gonna be bothered. Okay, I'll go for these doors. Yeah, the killer is uh, really weak as well. Like, cannot do jack shit. Like, it's his first game as a killer and he picked Hillbilly. It's a uh, suicidal mission, uh, basically. Like, I... I'm not gonna play with the guy, I'm just gonna... You know what? I'm gonna let him hit me. It's it's three points for him, for me, for everyone. He he just left. That's that's unfortunate. 